you were telling me about a gentleman who, who spent so much time in, in his home and then you were able to give him the freedom to get in and out of his home. We were dealing with a veteran and uh, he was in his late 80s and he had some questions for me as to what, what this ramp was going to be able to do for him from a benefit standpoint. So he agreed for us to go ahead and do the work and we installed that ramp. So I went back to his home to check on him. This time his wife came to I had asked for him, and she said, no, I'm sorry, he's gone. And I said, well, I was just stopping to talk to him, see how the ramp works. She goes, oh, the ramp works real well. You can wait here just a second. He's right down the road. And I looked down the road, and here comes this little old man on his scooter flying down the road with a little orange flag flapping in the breeze. And he's waving and waving and waving at me. And he comes up his ramp on the scooter, turns right out, and comes into his home. He said, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to <laughs> We're going to talk about three main programs that the uh, Veteran Administration has for our veterans. The SAH, SHA, and HISA grants? The HISA grants typically center on bathing, and it's a small grant. And these are mostly administered through the uh, VA medical centers. We're able to go into a veteran's home, and we modernize the bathroom very quickly by putting in what's called a barrier-free shower unit. They have another grant called an SHA grant, and that's a special housing adaptation grant. And that it's, it's usually used for veterans whose sight is failing due to one uh, extent or another. It's a smaller grant, and it's for basic things such as to help them get in and out of their house safely. If they're walking out on their deck, they have a handrail that they can feel. They know where they're at in case their sight is failing. And then finally, there is a grant that is a more extensive grant, and it's called an SAH grant, which is especially adapted housing. The VA has standards for egress and ingress out of the house safely, quickly in the event of a medical or a fire emergency. They only get these grants one time throughout their life, and this money needs to be spent in a way that most benefits that veteran. One thing that the veterans can do, Keith, get more detail on these type of grants is to go to ebenefits.gov. It does give a lot of detailed information and it allows the veterans to start. And then from there, it will direct the veterans to the places they can get more information. Uh, Lyndon, I can't uh, uh, thank you enough for taking the time to uh, join us. Thanks, Keith. Have a great day. All right. You do the same.